<laughs> so what are you guys? We're the part of the Starwood family. Like literally one time this old lady comes out and she's like, oh, I get you food. So she comes in and she brings us food and we're sitting there about to eat and all of a sudden like, you know, the relatives come in, they're speaking Korean and they're like, oh, no, 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 you wait. I'm like, what? And she goes over my phone like, what is she doing? She takes all the food back. She comes back 15 minutes later with exactly the same food. She's like, I didn't know you were Korean. I was like, okay. <laughs> like, I can swear, I mean, yeah. I don't know what she must have been doing. Probably she's like, oh, Japanese. Tuk, tuk, tuk. <laughs> so, right, so, you guys want to pick up? Pick up from my nomial? Pick up from my nomial and see how far we get. And then we'll do normal, but most important, and then we'll do exponential. Okay. So, uniform is the easiest. Uniform, when, when is something uniform? The best case is picking a number. Pick a number between 0 and 1, but he will tell you it's uniformly distributed. Okay. Um, the density function, you don't even really have to know this, but the density function is written like this. 1 over b minus a, 4x in the interval a to b, picking numbers again, 0 otherwise. So it just means like this. Here's your number a, here's your number b. What's the, what's the density function look like? It's 1 over the, dip, the length of this guy. Okay. If you're over here, over here, it's zero. Okay. But what it means intuitively is everybody's got the same odds of being picked. Pick a random number between zero and one, everybody's got the same odds. Okay. When you do this stuff, the traditional way is you would set up the integral, you integrate like this, up to x, f of t, d, t. This is stupid. Because you see this so much, you will never have to integrate this guy. Instead, what you're going to do is use a pre-made formula for this guy. In fact, I'm even going to take a shortcut. So don't compute this stuff with integral. I'll show you the cheapest way to do this. So the cheapest way to do this is probability is going to be length of what you want over total length for uniform. I'll also give you the way the book does it, but this is the easiest way to think about this problem. Okay? So let's do an easy one. I have a uniformly distributed random variable, continuous, going from, I don't know, 0 2, 4. Okay. I want you to tell me what is the probability that you pick a number in the range 0 to 4 and it's bigger than 3. Okay. So I'm just going to do this the cheapest way possible. First, I draw it out. Here's 0, here's 4, here's 3. What does bigger than 3 look like? Just to the right. By the way, in continuous land, because individual points have no area, it doesn't matter if it's greater than or equal to or greater than 3. Same thing. Okay, what is the length of what you want bigger than 3? One. 1. So the length of what you want is 1. What is the total length? 4. You're done. That's it. Are okay with this? Let's try the same thing. What if I made it more complicated? What is the probability you get a number between 2 and 4? What is the length between 2 and 4? 2. What's your total length? 4. So I guess the probability is 1 half. This is it. This is all the D for uniform. Okay. Let me translate this though. The way your book writes it, your book gives it different terms. I don't remember if you use the big A or little A. I think traditionally you call this maybe big A or little A, I don't know which one. It makes these letters and it writes a general formula which is length of what you want, which would be Big A minus little a, and big B minus little a, and big A, right? Over total length, which in that equation would be B minus A. This is probably what you've seen in your book, something like this. But what this really means is length of what you want divided by total length. You guys saw this, right? Do you want a trickier version of this? And this is usually done in the homework. Let's do a trickier version of this. So again, I'm going to pick a number uniformly distributed between 0 and 4. So I'm going to tell you it's uniform. I want you to tell me what is the probability I pick a number at random and it's tenth digit. So some number, and it's got a decimal, it's tenth digit happens to be a 9. Did you guys see that one for homework? No. Did you need homework in this section? You're responsible for it, right? Okay. So someone help me out. So what I'm doing is, let's draw our picture. I'm going from 0 to 4. In fact, I'll make more room. I'm going from 0 to 4. Let's do the easy part first. Does everyone agree the length of, total length is 4? Okay. 
Now all I need is the length of what you want. But what I want is I want to end up with a number where the tenth digit happens to be a nine. So here, not going to happen. How about point one? Not going to happen. Where's, where's the first place where you see a point nine? Point nine. Do you guys agree? And technically, do you guys remember, individual guys, one score doesn't matter. So 0.9 up to 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, all the way up to right before 1, all of these have 9 in the 10th digit. Do you guys agree? Imagine 0 0.95, 0 0.97, all the way up to 1. Don't worry about including 1. Single points don't matter. What's the length of this guy? 0.1. 0.1 to the length here. Do you guys agree? Okay, but keep going. This is not the only time you see 0.9. The next time you see a point 0.9 is where? 1.9. And do you agree between 1.9 and 2, you also see a point 0.9? Everybody agree with this? Okay. Give me one more time. Keep this going. Do you also see that 2.9 to 3? This is also a point 0.1. And then all the way up to here, 3.9 and 4. This is also point 0.1. The rules haven't changed. Total length is 4. What is the length of what you want? Total length of what you want is what? 0.4. Do you guys agree with this? So then. You're supposed to count from 0.9 to 1 and the other ones. Oh, because the, the question I asked is what is the probability of picking a number where the 10th digit is not? Any of these numbers qualify, right? How do you decide that that's the length that you go from 0.9 to 1? Oh, because it's the only guy. I mean, think about it. If you have 0.9. Any number that includes 0.9, 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, it's bigger than 0.9, right? But less than 1. Right? So just imagine all the numbers that would have 0.9 there. As long as the first thing is a 0, this is it. Right? And then if it's 1.9, same thing. So, and then this turns out to be 4 over 40, which is 110. Everybody okay with this? So you guys didn't have any homework problems on this section yet? But you did have this one? Yeah. We're going to talk about the section. Barbara. Barbara. Anna, you're uh, Barbara. Barbara. Everybody okay with this? There is a harder problem with this that sometimes is assigned for homework. I kind of don't want to.